you know, even painful to heal, um, but there's more of the pain from the emotion of what you've been through to process. In today's video, I'm showing you my cancer scars. Hey guys, I'm Marina Blackford. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. I'm a two-time breast cancer survivor and I'm paying for all the tips for the cancer fighters and survivors out there. So make sure you find videos that might help you. I have chemo videos, radiation vi videos, surgery videos, and now I'm revealing some of my scars. I was 31 when I was first diagnosed with breast cancer and it wasn't entirely new to me at the time. I mean, it was shocking. It was uh, fearful. It was, you know, something to process. But my mother at that point had had breast cancer twice and I knew she was BRCA1 positive, meaning she was, she had a mutation on that gene that puts us at high risk for breast cancer. So it wasn't totally new to my life, um, which helped me process it much better than maybe others. It, the fact that I knew I could get breast cancer again and I knew removing everything would be what I would do. So I decided to have a double mastectomy done and remove all my breast, breast tissue because of my risk for breast cancer. So in a way I feel maybe lucky to some people that are diagnosed that you have to kind of process and accept like, am I gonna do this? Is this the right thing to do? I with no doubt knew that's what I had to do because I had seen my mom go through breast cancer twice and I didn't want to do that. Now, cut to five years later, I would find breast cancer again near my ribs and I would have to do everything again, but I still know that I did the best I could that first time and I have no regrets about it at all. So let's see what that looks like. It's nighttime, I am filming in my bathroom. I wish I could give you guys natural light, but I'm nervous I won't get the proper time um, to talk to you guys tomorrow because I am a mom to toddlers. They're four and two. They're on fall break and they are so fun, but they're just very demanding my attention. So I am filming at night right now while they're in bed. All right, here we go. Um, you guys have kind of seen some of this, right? You've seen my lumpectomy scar, which is here. So you can see what it could look like if it's under your armpit and how the skin might fold and dimple. I also have two port scars from having chemo each time I had breast cancer. All right, so here is my port scar from five, no, well, lost track, seven years ago um, and what it looks like. I mean, it actually has healed pretty well and I am pretty happy with that it looks like this with a little it's usually two scars like a line and a nick of where they like have to feed it to get it into the vein and so there's usually two cuts there um <clears throat> and my breast surgeon placed my port not the radiography team the first time i had breast cancer and she was very mindful of putting it in my tan line of where my tank top was so when i wear tank tops it hides it perfectly or if I wear sports bras and that's been amazing. So this is my more recent port scar. This was just removed. This port was just removed last year. Oh, um, so here is what it looks like still. It's still fairly dark with the line and in, in the nick. Can you see it up here? I just want to pause for a moment and remind you guys I do have an Amazon storefront where you can find products that I recommend and one is 100% pure vitamin E oil for healing. I'm trying to make up for time now by getting more lotion and ointment on it. So this is what a more fresh scar will look like. It's darker and I'm hoping it'll lighten more to this. So that's something I'm working on. And then I do have mastectomy scars and I'm gonna try and show you that tastefully here, guys. So I had a nipple sparing double mastectomy and I had the scar, I had everything removed underneath the breast. So it looks like this line that's underneath my breast reconstruction. That is the scar and that's how light it is. I hope that gives you guys hope because it's not even something I really look at or think about since I've had reconstruction and um, I'm pretty happy with that. And it looks the same on the other side. Um, the other side, the breast looks different because, you know, breasts are not even. So my reconstruction really wasn't even. Plus this right side had a staph infection. 
um, when I had a lumpectomy between having the two breast cancers that turned out to be benign, uh, but we had to treat it with IV antibiotics and multiple surgeries, and it was a very um, hard time, to be honest, the staph infection. My son was, you know, an, an, it was his first year of life, and I had had six surgeries by the time he was 14 months, so it was a very crazy time. But I'm thankful I beat it and I'm on the other side. So this breast just looks different. Um, it, so this breast was literally cut open th like five times, guys. Like crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, totally cut open. Breast implant removed three times. Reconstruction done and everything. So this is what the scar looks like. And again, it's under the breast. So if you think about, you know, line of sight and what you see, you just don't see a lot. And that I hope that's, again, just gives you guys some hope. Like I wear swimsuits, you don't see it at all. Um, you know, you'll see these if I wear a strapless swimsuit. Um, but I have just learned to really embrace my scars. Like I, I kind of wear it as a badge and it took me some time to think of it that way. I mean, you won't naturally think of that that way in the beginning, I feel, because you know, it's, it's literally a reminder it can be kind of you know even painful to heal um, but there's more of the pain from the emotion of what you've been through to process and I'm all about that I encourage you to check out my videos I have like uh, three tips for cancer survivors please check that out but it's about acknowledging the past stepping into the present so you can you, you can move forward in your journey in your life you know um, so acknowledge that that was hard and sucked and was difficult and you wouldn't you wouldn't wish it on anybody but if you can accept it and now step forward into like I did that I am a bad <laughs> um <laughs> you are a fighter you are stronger than you ever knew you were not by choice but that's almost even more powerful you know the fact that you you had no choice and you had to do it and you did it, I mean, it's even more just amazing. So please give yourself that credit because you deserve it on this journey. That is what the scars look like. If you wanna see hysterectomy scars, check out my video from last week where I share one year after hysterectomy, how that looks and feels. And just stay tuned for more videos. I'm so excited to provide you with a schedule this month so you know what to expect. I'm gonna have two live chats this month, so make sure you bring your questions. If you wanna submit your questions in advance, you can message me on Instagram, at Marina Blackford, and I will make sure to address your questions on the live chat coming up this month. So subscribe so you get those notifications. I am so thankful for you guys being here, and as always, I hope you have a great day. See you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.